what's up? It's me, Johnny here. So we are here for the last part of making this intro. Now we are in After Effects. So what I did is, um, here, I imported the AEC file. So, uh, your AEC file should be right here in our tut. So we have a bunch of images. Then we have this. So you, I just drag and drop that. It makes this folder. Then you're going to double click this composition. And then you're going to get a bunch of these cameras and lights. Uh, and as many lights as really you put in it. So, um, I also put this black solid. That won't be there. You can, uh, here, I'll just X out. You can do that by making new solid and black solid. There we go. So now we can drag and drop our particular. is a plugin that you can get it for free on certain websites and certain things. So, yeah. Uh, I'm warning you guys, I'm bad at particular, so yeah, don't blame me. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. So. Hmm. I should probably put this at the back. Hmm. That's really weird. Where's our text? Oh, I think I might have... I accidentally did something. New solid. There we go. I thought I did something. That was really weird. Okay, so anyways. You're gonna have your particular. It's gonna show up kind of in the side. So, uh, you're just gonna go to your emitter and move the position of it. To, uh, where you want it. I uh, kind of want it right here, so um, I'm also gonna make this the it, this into a box where it's emitted from, and then I'm going to make the emitter size. I'm gonna actually you don't really need to increase the um, Z too much, but the increasing the Y and the X basically makes it show you how far out it goes. Uh, I'm gonna make it. I don't want a ton of stars. Usually you don't have a ton of stars in your um, Things but I'll have a decent amount that seems about right And then as you can see The stars go with it. Um, I'm gonna turn down the velocity to uh, like 10 on these so they don't move so fast and then it looks really nice. Um, uh, I'll ma I'll change the color of the stars to when I just want to check his preferences. He said he wanted um, uh, do you say what background? Oh yeah, he wanted a, thinking of a dark or sky blue. So I'll think of I'll I'll try to give him a dark blue kind of ish, or maybe I'll go with a purple. It's really on how it looks. So we make another solid, and we put particular. Now this is the thing that I'm not so sure on, and I might have to <laughs> leave a little bit in. So as you can see, our particulars here again. So we're just gonna move this over. And really what we're going to be changing in this one, we're still going to make, whoa, actually, let me just hit control Z to that. Uh, we're going to make it a box again. And then we're going to just click, make our velocity. We, we can really change that later. This is just the background. So let's see how this looks. So we're going to go, it's mostly in particle that we do a lot of these things. Uh, it's gonna be a blue color, right? So, uh, we're gonna change this into a cloudlet. And I, I'm really bad with this. Let's see, make the opacity down, opacity down to like three. And then we make the, the, I think it's the cloud feather. You put a bunch up and then you make the size really big. Yes, I did it right. So, it's really weird. It comes in weird. Hmm. It's a little bit weird. Let me turn down the particles I have. I mean, I like particles. 
I'll, I'll turn down the particles and I just want to make the size a lot bigger. And then turn the pot opacity down too. Two, one. Hmm. I want to get more of a darkish. I think that's the velocity. I'm going to turn the velocity to zero. Is that right? This feels like it, it, oh, I need to make the life a lot longer. There, now it looks a lot nicer. So, comes in, boom, shakalaka. We have these come in. Sweet. So, uh, we have it come in. So, we're gonna get our shop in. Now, he wanted this song. Which one was it? Um, let me, ju I just wanna mute my audio so I can, um, get it right. Beat. Yeah, I'll just find it. Um, it's called Beat Junkie Bear Akuda. So, there we go. Let's see. I'm gonna open. I have a program called Free YouTube Downloader, and that's basically where I get um, all of my cool stuff. And here we are. So let's download this. So, um, I'll just ignore that for now. Preparing, downloading. Now I'm gonna go to my audio files and look up beat. Hmm, should be there. There it is. Here, I need to switch into my project. Oops, wrong folder. There we go. So now we drag in this song. There we go. So it's like, done, done. So I want to skip 18 seconds of where the drop. So now I'm going to teach you guys how to sync. Now, syncing, people think, um, what? What? Uh, it's okay. It's not nothing that big. I'm pretty sure it will work unless... It crashes again, which I'm guessing it'll not. Yeah, here we are. So, we're going to have it right here at, it starts spinning here. So, I'm guessing this is where the drop's at. Let me see if I'm right. So I click this to hit uh, this thing, RAM pre preview on the top to see, and then it'll just render it out. I just want to hear. Yeah, let me turn up my volume. You're going to hear, you might hear a little bit of an echo. And then I think it goes right here and it's like, done, 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 done. Oh, wait, is it right here? Or, wait. No. I think I'm just going to do it at the ho. Oh. And that's when it'll come in. Oops. Let me go back into my composition. Okay. So, there we go. So, we have the audio synced. So, a lot of people say you hit, you just play it through and then when you have a sense of beat you hit uh, the star button on your keyboard now that no, doesn't really work now why doesn't that work it doesn't work because um, you have like you'll have it like you basically I think your mind processes it like even a quarter of a second late and that makes the sync look off and it's bad so 
here we go. Let me show you how to properly do this. So you, it comes in here. So what I want to do is I want to have a main effect. Now what effect, so basically first I want to add, see, do I want a shockwave? I'm going to say yes. I'm going to have a shockwave. So what I do is I downloaded VC uh, Video Copilot's shockwave. You can get them for free. They're so easy to just find out how to get them for free. Um, yeah, you just need to really look it up. Um, I don't really have a specific video that I can tell you about. So um, I have a bunch of shockwaves right here. Um, so which one am I going to do? Huh. No, I, I want to have just one solid shockwave. Yes, I like the vortexes. Or no, that one that one's okay. It's okay. I'll use it. Why not? Okay. Here you go, pal. Welcome to my sequence. Thank you for coming. Okay. So now, sadly, it's not... Or is it? Does it actually go with your camera movements? That'd be sick. Wait, let me let me see this. Is it actually it rotates with your camera? Wow, that's a, that's actually really cool. I I never knew it did that. Wow, the things you don't know are really cool. Okay, um, so you, I'm just gonna have it explode. Um, I generally don't like my uh, sequence, it, my uh, shockwaves to be super long, so I like to time stretch and then just turn them down to 50. The, and they make it look more clean, like you're... Because, yeah, I feel like long so shockwaves are dumb. So, let me see this. And then it goes dun, 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 dun. I'm just going to keep it with one shockwave. And what I like to do on my shockwaves is I also like to make them a lot bigger. So that's like the max size. And it's already the opos opacity is going down. So let's make the max size like that much. Yeah. Even maybe a little bigger. It's fine if it goes off the screen really. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, for this and now we are going to move to put on the cool effects So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually I'm not I already made a new composition If you don't know that you just hit new composition and then you make your composition basically um, So we're gonna drag our tut composition That we already put a bunch of things in into this composition and now what it can do is we have a fresh layer so we can if we put it on it put an effect on it, it doesn't put it just on the text it puts it on the whole thing. If you want any effects on the actual text, then you can just go back into your tut composition right here and do them there. So, what I'm going to put in is I'm going to put a nice radial blur. Um, I like just the normal radial blur. You can do a CC radial blur. I'm pretty sure they do all the same thing. Yeah, I, I, I like the CC one, I think, a little more. Because uh, you can uh, change the quality. So you can change the quality. And now if you put the quality down, it actually makes this kind of shaking kind of look. And I really like it. So I'm going to keep my sh quality there. That's pretty good. So I'm not going to keep it for the whole sequence, of course. So I'm just going to drag this down, hit effects, CC radial blur. And I'm also going to drag down the waveform of the audio again because I want to use it to reference so I can sync. Um, yeah. Okay, so that's what is there. And before the shockwave comes, I'm going to just hit uh, zero. So I hit here, then it's like done. I'm going to turn it up a tiny bit more. Hmm. Yeah, four seems good. And then I'm just gonna I'm gonna add one more effect. Now it's totally up to you what kind of effects you want to put on. Um, I'm gonna put on. Hmm. 
I'm gonna put on a light burst. I usually put these on just sometimes I put them more lightly than others on my sequence uh, on my uh, videos, but I always like having uh, importing a light burst into it. Fuchion, fuchion. It looks actually really cool like that, except it lags me. Okay, so let's turn this down to zero. And um, what I'm gonna do is same thing. I'm gonna keyframe to zero, and then I'll have it go bam. Now for these, you don't wanna have a super intense effect. Because once you have a super intense effect, it kind of messes with things because you can't really see the transition between them. So, yeah, you can see how you can see like kind of a transition between these. But if you don't do that, then... So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to uh, copy these. So I'm going to hit control C and hit control V, the keyframe before the ending. So um, here, and I'm just going to lessen the effects for that original one. You want to have like the most intense effects that you're ever going to do. So I'm going to turn this down to actually, I'm going to do 15. And I'm going to turn, oh, oh, there we go. No, dang it. There we go. <laughs> oh my, why did I zoom it in so much? Okay, now I'm going to turn this down to maybe two. Yeah, that seems right. So it's like, done, 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 done. Okay. Oops. So I want to do it the keyframe before, because I want to do it so when it, when it hits, then the next beat hits, you want to have it, that's when it, the effect turns on. So, yeah. So let's see what it looks like so far. Okay, guys, we're uh, back. Sorry for all these cuts in these videos. Um, yeah, my bad. So let, let's see what we have so far here. Sorry, I just turned the volume, changed the volume. So we have it come in. Boom. There's one thing I didn't really like about this. So let, let me, I just want to see if, what, what it was again. Okay. Okay, so what I want to have here is what I like to do for all of my intros is I just like to have a tiny bit of like, have it scale up. So what I'm going to have it do is go like, here, I'll go just like a tiny, and then here, I'll have it like this. Control C, Control V, and then I'll uh, flip this one and put this one here. Done, done. So it'll go like it, it should work. And I'm um, yeah, I'll just have it go like that, and then whenever um. Yeah, whenever it beats, that's what I'll have. So, um, yeah, that's basically what I'll do. Um, I'm going to add some more effects later, but I'm just going to try to keep the simple ones, and then we'll see what we can do uh, afterwards. So, um, yeah, let's do this. So, what? Uh, um, these look like they're almost exactly the separation. I Wait, what happens right here? With the audio, I actually, wait, what is this? Or no, that just changes if it's on or off. Um, I don't actually know. Is there a way that you can uh, listen to the audio, just the audio alone? Because that'd be really nice. So it's, what does it go like? Oh, it's this, this is, this will be a bit difficult. Okay, let me let me just back up here. Okay. Okay, so the first one it it's like right. Yeah. It's like dun 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 dun. And then dun
Is this clear right now? What the heck? Whoa, 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 whoa. The radial blur's going down, but not the light burst. So we have a still have a light burst here. Uh oh. That's not right. So we have to have right here. We'll have to make this zero. Same thing here. Zero. Let's just skip ahead in the keyframes. Zero, or else there's no real point in doing two keyframes here, or keyframes at all, if this the ray length is just staying the same the whole time. I didn't know that was happening. Maybe that's the reason why they were looking. The intro was looking a bit off. It should render really quickly right now. Yeah. There we go. That looks it looks more chill because he did order it chilling. Yeah, that will look really cool once I add this. I'm going to actually add that scaling in right now. So I'm going to ha have um I want to have the first one here. The second one here. And the first one here. Okay. Let me render this out again because I, I always like to see if it's. Should I add this little. There is a tiny little blip right here. I'm going to actually add it. So. Dun dun. Yeah. But that means I'm going to have to drag this here, which might mess with things here. So I'm going to have to move this here. No. And this here. Sorry if I'm slow <laughs> today, guys. Uh, control C. So... Just want to say it one more time, and then we can continue on adding effects. Okay, so it looks good. Um, yeah, I kind of want to have it more of a short intro. Let me render this out, and then when I add effects, and then it renders again, it'll uh, actually take a little bit of a shorter time to render. Um, yeah, that's enough. <laughs> And then, so we have right here again. Then we have the same kind of thing here. So, let's first do our effects. Let's add them in. Okay. Hmm. Is this another one of those mini blips? Yeah, it is. I'm going to add it too. Okay, so wait. How does this go right here? Okay, this is going to take a tiny bit to render. So it goes, oh, oh. So how about this? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna try something. Let's try a VC color vi vibrance. This is another plugin that I have, and basically I can change the color. Another way you can do it is color and hue, but I just kind of like this more. It, it uh, is more useful in my opinion. Now I have to choose a good color that doesn't make it look weird, like this one does. Unless I up the vibrance or turn down the vibrance. There we go. 
See, look, that A seems. Let's see the brightness. Yeah, turn the brightness down, and then you can't see that little blue blip. So what I want to do is just have the vibrance of it. So it goes here, so we'll have like um, effects, VC color vibrance. We'll have the vibrance of it um, be here, here on the next frame, if I'm getting that right. Yeah, and then here we'll just turn it down to zero. And then it'll be back to normal. And then we'll have it yet again. We'll we'll hit uh, Control V again, except this time we're gonna switch the frames, and we'll have it. Then it'll be like this. Let's see. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, did I get that wrong? No, I got the second. Oh. So it, it actually does the first haw right here. Huh. Didn't know that. Okay. Oh, oh. Let's see this again. So I want to check if I'm doing this right. Ha ha. And then we'll just have the effects come off and then it'll just fade off. So, um, one more thing it, before we finish up this intro, we're gonna add a Gaussian blur. So, blur. We'll have it blur out in the end and, uh,. Let's just turn that to zero. From, we'll have from 7.15 to 8.15. So pretty, uh, like a one second and a bit. So we'll change this to 100. Oh, we can actually do it more, but there's no really point in doing it more. And let's also uh, transform and we'll turn the opacity from 100 to um, right here, having it at uh, 30. And uh, we'll have the same thing, the audio levels from here to here. We'll, actually, the audio levels don't well, yeah, we'll have the audio levels turned down to minus 60 or 50. doesn't really matter. So before we do this, let's see how our intro looks. So I want to see if I want to add a few effects onto it. Oh, I forgot to do the scaling. No, I was gonna. I was just gonna turn off the scaling there because it's good for the beginning. But if I put it through the whole sequence, it seems a little bit repetitive. And yeah, so um, we should have this a uh, few parts render faster than the others. Uh, yeah, see, there we'll have like a really quick render thing, and then let's just see it slowly. Um, the audio diminishes and it gets blurred out and faded slightly, which is really, I, I really like the effect of that. I haven't used it in an intro yet, but I've been thinking of it. Okay. Okay, sounds good. This looks really nice in my opinion, and I'm pretty proud of this, guys. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, again, just comment it. If I went too fast for you guys, tell me that too for if I do another tutorial. 
request any tutorials you want me to do. Um, yeah, I covered a lot in all these this whole tutorial series, but it's up to you guys. See you all later. Bye.